Welcome to Adventures in Freeze Drying. Today we're going to make some apple thyme rice. It takes basmati rice, chicken broth, apple cider vinegar, thyme, two apples and an onion. So let's go ahead and get cooking. This recipe calls for the use of a Dutch oven. You could probably do this in a large cooking pot, um, but it does recommend the Dutch oven. And we're going to start on low heat. Instead of using oil, to sweat your onions, I'm going to start with a tablespoon of chicken broth to sweat my onions. And we're going to cook these for 8 to 10 minutes until they just start to become translucent. And then we'll be right back. My onions are just starting to become translucent. They've been cooking for about 10 minutes now over low to medium heat. I'm going to up my heat to medium-ish, a little over medium heat, and add my two apples. These were Gala apples. The recipe calls for Gala or Fuji. And then we're going to cook these until the apples begin to brown. So once we get to that point, we will move forward with the rest of the recipe. Because I'm trying to minimize oils and fats used in this recipe, my apples are starting to stick a little bit as I'm trying to get them to brown. So I'm going to just add another splash of chicken broth. So if you're doing the same thing, you can always add another splash of chicken broth, just like you could always add another splash of oil if you need to, to help keep stuff from sticking to the bottom of your pan. My apples have just the slightest bit of golden brown to them, so I'm adding my cup and a half of rice, and a, of basmati rice, and a tablespoon of thyme, or you can use two tablespoons of fresh thyme leaves. And we're gonna go ahead and stir this up. We're gonna let this cook for one to two minutes before we add in our liquids of three cups of apple, of, sorry, three cups, not of apple cider vinegar, that would be nasty, three cups of chicken broth, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter to this yet as well. So we're gonna let this go for, like I said, a minute to two minutes, and then we'll start adding all of the liquids. Now I'm going to go ahead and first just add one cup of the chicken broth. Again, to deglaze the bottom of that pan. So I really want to scrape along the bottom of my Dutch oven to get all that yummy browned flavor off the bottom up into the liquid. So my rice takes that flavor in and doesn't leave it behind. So that's always some of the best flavor is what's glazed on the pan. Then we're going to go ahead and add the other two cups of chicken broth. One tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar. We're going to get this all brought to just bring it to a boil so that way we can get it to simmer and we'll let it simmer for 20 minutes. All of the moisture has been cooked into my rice. I've checked my rice, it's nice and tender. This only took about 12 minutes of simmering with the lid on to get all the moisture cooked into the rice and to get my rice tender. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off the stove, let it cool for five or 10 minutes and get this trayed up. So I've let my rice cool and I've put it onto parchment lined trays. I use the pre-cut parchment from freeze drying supplies to line my trays. I like that it's pre-cut. Rice isn't a fluid. It's not going to be the easiest thing to get perfectly leveled, but get it close if you can. And then once I get these leveled out, I am putting in dividers also from freeze drying supplies just to give me like one serving portions, maybe two serving portions if you didn't want a lot of it. And then I will use my stackers that lock in place, you'll hear a click. These stackers don't go anywhere, they stay right where you want them. Also keeps your trays locked in place. So then when I put this one up here, it's locked in place. And then we'll get these in the freezer and through the freeze dryer. Then we'll see you as this is coming out of the freeze dryer and we'll see how it rehydrates. 
as expected, my rice freeze dried super fast. It's been a total of 23 hours and I am almost eight hours into extra dry time, seven and a half. So let's go ahead and see how this rice looks. One thing I notice is that my tray, like it really shrunk up. There's space between my dividers, the tray edges, so it's really shrunk up. It's definitely holding together a little bit. Not perfectly, but there's definitely chunks here, which is nice. It's dry all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all but one portion of this bagged up, and then I will see you in the kitchen. I have one serving of my rice right here. I'm going to go ahead and get some water heated up to boiling. Um, probably start with about a half cup of water. We'll see how much this needs to fully rehydrate. I'm super excited to try this because I loved it fresh. So let's get started with the rehydration process. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by adding just a half cup of water. A snap, crackle, pop a little bit. I'm totally hearing this. Oh, the smell, the smell is coming right back. It's also growing. So it's rehydrating actually pretty quickly here. It's not gonna be completely instant into the middle of everything, but wow. I would say that rice went pretty quick. It's going to be the apples and the onions that might take an extra minute or two. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this and let it stand. I'm going to give it two minutes because this is going pretty quick, I think. I'm going to let it stand for two minutes and then we'll come back and see where we think. It has been two minutes. It has definitely soaked up the full half cup of water. That apple feels plenty soft to me, so I don't think there's gonna be any hard parts left in the apple. The onions are feeling plenty tender as well, so let's go ahead and do a taste test. Let's see how this rehydrated. It smells wonderful. Mmm. Might even be a little over hydrated. I probably could have gotten by with maybe somewhere between half cup and a third cup of water instead of the full amount, but it's not bad. The rice is surprisingly good. It's more that the apples and onions took on too much water. But the rice is perfect. So I would call that a win for an instant side dish. Ready to go. Join me next time on Adventures in Freeze Drying.